I'm constantly listening to, to voices, <laughs> voices in my head. No, I'm con although they, they, are, they are there sometimes. Um, I'm constantly listening to voices and, and w ways of presenting. So watching TV, watching Netflix, watching, okay, uh, a sports presenter, sports presenter. Now his voice will often, or her voice, will often be a little bit more um, energetic. Okay, next time you listen to a, a sports presenter, it will have a little bit more energy in it. And it will often have more opinion in that voice. Because they can give that opinion. News readers often have to stay, stay neutral. Although it's changing now, there, there's more engagement in, in their voices and how they're moving. Often you see them standing in front of a, a video wall and using their hands a lot more. But yeah, going back to a, a sports presenter, it's quite a, a lot more energetic. If you think of a radio presenter in the morning, it's all about feeling good, making people feel good through 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 the voice. You can hear the smile. You can hear the kind of optimism, even when even when it's a rainy day. Maybe like a rainy day today in Sofia. Is it raining in Sofia? I think so. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So you can feel that that sunshine in the voice, although there's no sunshine. Again, switch it towards the end of the day, in the evening, an evening um, late night presenter on the radio, it will be a lot softer and a lot more um, maybe engaging and, and more mellow because people have had a long day perhaps and they just wanna relax and, and take in those messages. So, there, so the, the voice, how we sound, is really important and just having that notion in your mind about okay sound equals signals which equal emotion and those emotions help us with our judgment and our decisions <laughs>